long awaited Google Meet student guide. This will hopefully, this will help you how to join your online class. Okay, so this is a PDF that I have created um, based on uh, the one for teachers. But this is specifically for students and it's quite short. There's only four pages in it and only eight steps. Okay, so obviously when you go in, you need to make sure that the teachers will send you an invitation to join a Google Meet, like a meeting. Okay, it's like a video call and that teacher will be recording that meeting, like a webinar, online webinar. So where do you get this invitation? So you need to check, number one, you need to check your email to join the meeting. Okay, I have an example picture here. This is mine. So I send an invitation to myself and you would, it would say happening now, your teacher or Corey is inviting you to join the meeting. Okay, so here it's circled in yellow and that's what you have to do. You have to click that in your email there. Step two. So you need to open your Google Meet invitation email. So this is the email now. Uh, this is Jasmine Gibbs is inviting you to video to a video meeting. Okay. So you see Google Meet. It says there's a a box or a button that says Join Meeting. You have to click there. Okay. Click there, and step three, you will end up inside. All right, now when you're inside, you need to click on join meeting, join now. Yeah, this, this little oblong uh, shape here in green. Okay, or you can click here to join using your phone. So if you're using a phone and a computer, click this one. Okay, join and use your phone for audio. Okay, let me repeat that. Step three. If you are using a phone and that you're not using a computer, but you're using a phone, you click here, join and use the phone for sound. Okay. All right, so let's have a look. Step four. Once you clicked on that green oblong shape, like join now, you'll end up with this. Okay. So you will see yourself there, right? Um, and that's what it would look like. So you'll have different colors. You won't see this exactly, but you see this dark thing here. You need to allow for the microphone or allow for your speakers so that you can listen and you can speak to it. Okay, that's step four. So let's go to step five. In step five, if you want to type something on a chat icon here, you can click on this chat icon, it looks like um, the, a, a speech bubble. This one here, in yellow, this one. So you, this is how you could type to ask a question or to type a question to your teacher. Or you can just, so that's how you would do, that's called chat typing, all right? So this is where you get that by clicking on that. That's step six. You type on that box. So where is this box? So step seven, that box is under here, underneath on the lower hand of your screen. Okay. For example, I'm just going to open up a Google meeting here. By opening this one here, this is the box on the lower corner, this side. So he send a message to everyone, and that means whoever is in the meeting will read your message if you want to chat and you don't want to disturb. So if you have joined the meeting and you were late, you did not start or did not join the meeting at 8 a.m. in the morning or at 3.30 or 4, 4 p.m. in the evening, that means that you are late and that they will not let you it's not going to notify the teacher that you have come in so it's up to you to type your name here especially if you like coming in because this is how google meet works that any late comers will not be 
disturbing the class. Option but you of turning off your camera. So when you click there, you will have an X on it. And then that means that people can't see you. The people in the class, inside that webinar or class, online class, will not be able to see um, your face or your room. If you click here, this will turn red. If you click here, it will turn red. If you click the middle one, it looks like a telephone, you will leave the meeting. You will no longer be in the online classroom. And that means your um, time in the classroom will not be um, recorded. Yeah. So it, be very careful that you don't click the middle one, this middle icon. It looks like a telephone. All right. So if you want to talk to a, a classmate or the teacher, if you want to type something, you can use this. Um, icon for chatting so that's what you use to type something and people can see what you're typing by saying hello or introducing yourself especially if you're late you have to type if you're late let's say if you're two hours late or even half an hour late and everybody's settled and everyone's discussing uh, everyone's talking to each other you must make sure that you sign your name, you, you type your name here, say hi everybody, I'm Jo, I'm Josephine, because what happened here is that you're actually almost signing your attendance, okay? And also you may have to approve or allow recording, because the teacher is recording the meeting, and whatever you say can be recorded. Okay, so it's a good idea to do that. And then you say, click the button, send message here. Yeah, if you're new, if you're a new student, it also helps to say, I come from. So write down the name of your country and when you come, when you came to Australia. came to Australia in, in 1989. So that's, that was a long time ago. Okay, so Australia, if that's only if you knew, but if everybody knows you and you have been um, coming to school to Australia since last term, you say that that's the time you come in. Uh, usually it will record the time. Here like this, see? I have said something before and now it records my time exactly, okay? So that helps the teacher find your attendance, actually helps record your attendance. Show you how to log you... in to Moodle. So Moodle is our online classroom, just like Google Meet is our class, online class. Okay, so this one will not open until the 20th of April, the day that this class starts. And you don't need to hang out and log into this yet, um, but the teacher will show you how to log it in. Okay, so um, once you have a notification and you can have a look at this on the day, and the teacher will show you how to log into Moodle as well. Okay, so in fact, I can show it to you now. Now, it's different for me because I'm a administrator. I can get a uh, sign in automatically. I don't have to log in like you. So my login is different to yours, especially the first time you log into Moodle. You have to put your username. Username is your ID number, your student ID number. And your password is your date of birth. That's the first time you log into Moodle. But later, you may have to change. You may have to change your password and your username. But then you might forget, so that's a danger. Now, if you can't remember your username or your password, you have to contact Carlo. Yeah, Carlo is the IT guy, and he will help you if you cannot do anything, uh, even though you you did everything right and you put in the correct things but you still can't log in that's something that you need help that i can't help you with anyway so 
um, this will go on. This will be um, published on the 20th of April. Uh, this one that I'm doing right now, how to log into Google Meet student guide will be available today. I'm hoping that it will be published immediately today so that it is going to be um, easy for you to work out because your teacher will guide you. And there's a video to see. And this is the lesson for Monday. So all these things you have to do and your teacher will help you and read all this and help you read all this. So don't so that's it. I have shown you in this video how to connect to and join a online classroom. So watch this video again if you're confused and watch it as often as you can because I have shown you how to join an online classroom for your general English class on Monday, 20th of April, 2020. So don't be afraid because your teacher will guide you on Monday how to join and uh, keep a lookout for your email. All right. I will see you all on Monday at 8 a.m. or 4 p.m. for evening. Thank you. Goodbye. If you have any problems, you need to contact info at australisinstitute.nsw.edu.au. Thank you.